time is running out before Britain leaves the European Union. This is the most complex negotiation you could imagine. In 2018, the eyes of the world will be on political negotiations. But for many businesses, the time for tough decisions has already arrived. We're in an information void at the moment. Firms can wait and see what the negotiations produce, but that's quite a high-risk strategy. They're having to plan for the worst. In a year that will decide Britain's future in Europe, how will business cope? London's banking industry is the biggest in the European Union. It's home to over a third of all Europe's financial assets, over six trillion euros, and employs hundreds of thousands of people. It's just one sector facing an uncertain future as the UK prepares for Brexit. Firms need to have some sense of continuity. They need to be able to convince their existing and future clients that they will be able to carry on providing the services that they're offering. If you are competing against, say, a Dutch firm, you need to be able to provide the same level of certainty, otherwise why, why would people use you? To retain some continuity after Brexit, the British government is hoping to pass legislation by early 2018 that will translate some 12,000 EU regulations into UK law. But as negotiations with Brussels continue, there's no guarantee that British companies will be able to carry on operating as usual. In this climate of uncertainty, some of the UK's largest financial institutions are investing heavily in contingency planning. The easiest way to deal with Brexit would be to carry on with your UK business and you open an office somewhere inside the EU. You have a, a token presence of people in that office the regulators at European level are trying to prevent this from happening. And they're going to be quite rigorous, I think. So it will have to do some real business. With jobs set to leave the UK, financial centres across Europe are hoping to lure valuable businesses away from London. There will certainly be a competition amongst other EU member states to take business from the UK. Dublin and Luxembourg are the funds centres in Europe. The French have a website which is aimed specifically at enticing business to France. The Germans also have uh, rolled out the red carpet. Brexit negotiations are due to conclude in October 2018. Whether or not a deal can be reached, it's set to be a year of transition for UK business. In the coming year, firms are going to need information, first and foremost. They're going to need to be able to keep on top of regulatory developments as they happen, trying to keep abreast of this amount of material in the timescale that's going to be involved here is going to be a, a pretty significant challenge. 